South Africa. try to do this time is, is make sure that they get uh, acclimatized ASAP to the, uh, to the six hours time difference, which in itself is not a big challenge, especially flying, uh, flying east, uh, but it becomes a little trickier with this one because of the, uh, the actual flight duration. So I had, the, had these guys adjust their watch to uh, Johannesburg time as soon as, we, uh, as soon as we took off and then uh, and try, to, and try to make sure that they would sleep uh, according to uh, Johannesburg time too. So, which meant waking them up uh, at times where they probably didn't feel like uh, being woken up. Jet lag also is affected by the noise um, and the exposure to light. So if you, um, if you spend 18 hours in the dark, it's probably not gonna help. So I try to open the shutters when it was time. Well, this time, you know, I really didn't feel it, you know. Last year when we came, you know, I felt a little bit more. I guess it was the first time, you know, second time. Um, I was in, in the seat with Clint, you know, we talked and then we slept like both of the trips, you know. So I think um, I didn't feel it this time. Well, I think it'll take, you know, maximum maybe two or three, four days maybe. Um, I'm pretty used to, you know, going and coming from California, Europe, so. Um, and we're on the same uh, time as uh, Denmark time, so pretty used to, you know, this kind of change. What we did is we tried to provide uh, a practice that was adequate for most of them. We had a little practice that ended up with a little 10 minute games, two touches, so you minimize the contacts. And, uh, but on the other hand, you give these guys uh, enough action. It was an hour and five minutes long. You give these guys enough action that, you know, they break a sweat. I mean, obviously, you don't do the same thing when you 10 days from the game, then three weeks from the game. So uh, we try to put the stress to the speed, you know, we try to, so the, the, the intensity is going up, duration is going down, and then the, the, obviously, as the intensity goes up, the, the speed at which we do movements, the speed at which we, uh, we end up, the, the warm-up at practice, all of this increases, you know. Um, so that you know, we've done a lot of, like, like low hurdles, reaction to a signal, you know, Try to incorporate a little more uh, of, of what the game is made of, and, and have these guys, you know, react to it. Now we're going to try to crank it up a little bit, uh, speed-wise, and, and eventually get get some some more power done before before our first game. This is moderate elevation. Okay, we're not we at 13, 1400 here. I'm talking meters. Denver is at 1600, so it's not like uh, you know we're on top of Mount Everest, but. You still have to uh, to be cautious. The worst thing to do would be to uh, have too intense of a practice early on, because you would do more damage than good. Uh, so we try to be cautious on that end. Okay, uh, we obviously using the safe software that we've been using in terms of tracking uh, heart rates, and uh, and then we're able to monitor the, uh, the intensities of the drill. You know. 